For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, money teams. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. In today's video, I have five things on offense and defense, five new features that were revealed in the College Football 25 uh, deep dive that should totally be in Madden 25 as well because they're things that are sorely needed. There's been plenty of evidence to suggest over the years that they've been developing College Football 25 behind the scenes that some of the features that they put into this game have been getting also put into Madden as well. Uh, things like home field advantage, which was always kind of available back in the old end. NCAA games, uh, things like the crowd noise affecting the gameplay and stuff like that, um, which are all things that you could slowly see getting put into Madden 25 while they were also building them into College Football 25. Well, there were five very important features that were introduced in the gameplay deep dive that are sorely needed in Madden 25, and if they're not in Madden 25, it's a huge fail. Now, this doesn't say that they're actually going to be in that because when they developed Madden or College Football 25, they developed that game uh, specifically for next gen engines. They didn't have to port it over like they did, you know, Madden games. So there are chances that this won't be in the game, but it really needs to be, or this College Football 25 game is going to be that much better. And I'm going to start off with offense. Now, number one, there was a few changes to the passing system on offense that are sorely needed for Madden 25, and I think this should be included. Number one, the hot route menu is essentially what looks like Hot Route Master, which only Patrick Mahomes has right now in the game, although you can get it in CFM and Mutt with certain players, but in the regular game mode, only one quarterback has that, which means only one quarterback in the entire game of 32 teams has the ability to have three different Hot Route menu adjustments like every single quarterback has in College Football 25, which is ridiculous on a couple different levels based on the fact that NFL quarterbacks are that much further ahead when it comes to uh, their ability to read defenses and make adjustments than uh, you know college football players, which haven't been playing nearly as long. So if you're going to have that in college football, the, the full customization of offenses, you need to have that in Madden. And if it's not in Madden, it's going to be a huge fail. So take away Hot Rod Masters and ability and just give it to every quarterback the same way you did in NCAA 25. Another feature that has to do with the passing game is the custom route stem, which in Madden right now, all you really have is the uh, smart route ability which will you know basically adjust a route to the uh, to the distance to gain so if you need if it's first and 10 and you smart route a route it'll break at the 10 yard marker where the custom stem ability that they added allows you to change a route from increments of five yards to five yards to 10 yards to 15 yards to 20 yards to 25 yards you can essentially customize how far you want a route to go uh, which is something that once again if you have full customization uh, in college you need to have that in the uh, in madden as well because these are things that have been sorely missing and it just it just doesn't make a lot of sense to have it in one game and not have it in the other so that's pretty much it for the offense but there's a couple on defense that i think is really important adjustments as well and the most important one is probably the switch stick option if you've played madden over the last decade you know that if you get stuck setting up your defense and your opponent hikes the ball and you're on a defensive tackle it doesn't matter if that defensive tackle is 54 speed or what if it's a passing play you are stuck on that defensive tackle for the rest of the play with the new switch stick system it allows you during a passing play anyway to use the right stick which is typically the hit stick to switch to any defensive player simply by flicking it in that direction so if you're stuck on a linebacker and you want to be the safety because you see a play developing in that area you just flip the right stick up and you're going to be that safety for the rest of the play unless you want to switch again maybe you see a cornerback uh you know losing uh, the battle and you want to go on that cornerback i mean this is this is huge this is a game breaking development that i can't believe wasn't in the game years ago because it sounds so simple all you have to do is use the right stick now if it's a run play or the quarterback throws the ball or say the quarterback breaks the line of scrimmage it will go back to the hit stick it's not something that would be nice to have that feature and run plays as well where basically, you know, because a lot of people run stretch runs and you might start to play on the linebacker, it'd be nice to be able to flick that stick and be the cornerback to try to cut that run off. But at the moment, it's only available in pass plays. Uh, and then, like I said, if the quarterback throws the ball, it'll go back to the hit stick. And if you pass the line of scrimmage, it'll go pass back to the hit stick as well. But that's still a huge, uh, you know, huge difference. That allows you to play defense across the entire field rather than just, uh, you know, whoever you're using, which typically can be, um, you know, it can really limit you. So this allow you to play much better defense if you get used to the new system and it needs to be in the upcoming game of Madden 25 or that's going to be a huge fail. 
The last one's gonna be the covered cell system. Now, they said that they removed the ability to uh, essentially, you know, just have your defaults um, base aligned coverage shell. That's not even going to be an NCAA. Uh, if you play Madden or if you played Madden the last couple of years, you know how poor it is to essentially, um, you know, come out in your classic uh, base cover shell, especially if you're running man coverage. If you're running zone coverage, it's not too bad. So if you're running cover three, four, or, you know, cover two, the, the same base aligned shell is always basically cover four. So it's not too hard for your cornerbacks to switch to a cover two shell after the play starts or a cover three shell after the play starts because that's not too much of a difference when when it comes to, you know, after, you know, you're basically just dropping down if you run it from a cover four to a cover two if you're a cornerback. Not a big deal. But when it comes to running man coverage in these shells, it's not ideal at all. You really can't run man coverage in a baseline shell because a lot of times you're running man to zero or something like that, you'll have your safety covering the slot receiver on the other side of the field or something like that, giving up a huge amount of space, allowing for quick throws or just your cornerback's just totally out of position. So with the new coverage shell system that they talked about uh, for NCAA or for College Football 25, rather, um, all you really have to do is use the right stick pre-snap once again, and it gives you the option to change coverage shells uh, from a lot of varying different looks. Like you can come out in a cover zero coverage shell and then it really be using a cover four. You can come out in a, in a cover one shell and be using using a, a cover two zone, uh, stuff like that. So you can basically really disguise your coverage is much better because your only other option other than coming out in a baseline is showing your coverage, which is totally way too easy to read at this point. It's been that way for years. If you're in a, a cover two, the cornerback's five yards off. People should know that by now. If you're in a cover three or a cover four, the cornerbacks are eight yards off. There's so many tells when it comes to reading a defense because they really haven't put a lot of time in changing that or disguising that to the point where it just is too easy to read and something like a coverage shell system like this where you can choose different coverage shells to confuse your opponent is really important and it really step defense up a lot of people's biggest complaints when it comes to madness the defense just isn't very good it doesn't work very well but with the last couple features that i mentioned it's going to be it would be much better it's going to be much better to play defense it's going to be much easier to control uh, and be a be a defensive player which really doesn't exist in the game now one more feature that really needs to be added is the defensive logic that they talk about, including some new coaching adjustments that they talked about for College Football 25. These are more specific to, to option plays and stuff like that, uh, but the logic for RPO plays in general just needs to be uh, increased because if anybody played Madden 24, they know that RPO plays were somewhat difficult to stop if you didn't know how. If you know how to stop it, it's really not that difficult. But for the most part, there was no natural defensive way to stop it. You really had to create an entire defense around stopping RPOs, uh, which just isn't doesn't make a lot of sense for every other possible play that could be called. Now they do introduce some new coaching adjustments for NCAA or for College Football 25. I keep calling it NCAA, but they have a new coaching adjustment when it comes to option defense in Madden. You just set it to conservative, and it'll focus on the quarterback, uh, which was a good way to shut it down. I mean, it did a good job of shutting down option plays. But at the same time, uh, the new uh, option defense options are going to give you individual ability to change the read and pitch key to separate uh, defenders. So basically, if you want your read key to, to go after the quarterback and your pitch key to go after the running back, you could set them to do that in the new coaching adjustment system, uh, which is something that you know could easily be ported over to Madden. If you looked at some of the stills of the coaching adjustments, they showed the offensive coaching adjustments. It was essentially the exact same as Madden, but they added a tempo adjustment where in this, uh, they also have some new coaching adjustments for College Football 25. So if it's that similar, they should add that same coaching adjustment option to Madden or just something for RPO plays. Just inc increase the improvements of how defenses stop RPO plays, which is what they talk about they, they tried to do for College Football 25 because it's sorely needed. Madden 24, that was one of the uh, one of the worst things when you were going against somebody who just spam RPO plays and you don't know how to stop it. Like I said, there's ways to stop it, but it still kind of ruined the experience to a certain extent for a lot of people. And I think that that's something that needs to be improved. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want more videos based off of this topic, I already put out a video on everything that we know about uh, Madden 25 as far as release dates and stuff like that. I'll have that pop it up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shout out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.